Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, April 15th. So the moon is going to continue to be in her place of power in this cancer energy. And of course, she's in her rulership on Monday as well, moon day, if you will. We are building towards the first quarter moon taking place in this cancer energy at the later degrees of the cancer sector of the zodiac wheel, which means that we're popping off at 26 degrees here late this afternoon. And then we're gonna see that moon go void, of course. We're hitting that void at 7.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be shifting into Leo energy at 10.25 p.m. So just a little bit of a reminder, the transition from cancer energy to Leo energy is always a welcomed one. Of course, the moon in her rulership in Cancer Energy brings up all of the feels, brings up all of our attachments to the old, all of our fears, our doubts, our insecurities, illuminates where it is that we're not feeling so safe and secure and stable in our lives. And of course, providing us with insight, we can gain perspective on what it is that we need to do differently. However, shifting into Leo Energy, that's where we become a little bit more aligned in our inner realm. The Leo energy has us a lot more playful, a lot more open, has us bold and brave and courageous to do the things that we have to do to break away from the attachments to the past that should be coming full front and center in our face while the moon is in cancer energy. So we love the shift into the Leo energy. It's a fire sign. We kind of get some pep back in our step. We dry ourselves up and off from a lot of the very intense emotions that we would have felt over the last couple of days with the moon being in this cancer energy. To intensify this particular transition, we are actually building towards the first quarter moon taking place in Cancer Energy here late this afternoon. And that is an action point, a decision point, a realization point on what it is that we have to do differently, especially to provide ourselves with the safety, security, and stability that should have come right in our faces over the last couple of days, where it is that we're lacking those particular things, especially where emotions are concerned. So on top of that, we have a very interesting dynamic popping off here today. Let me just also say that there's eight different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them involve the moon and the one that doesn't is a conjunction, a very important one between Mercury, who is currently retrograde, and Chiron, that wounded healer. We'll talk about that in just a second, but please understand that this is going to be a change in mood, attitude, emotion, thought, idea, and perspective kind of day. So, with that being said, we get off to a little bit of a bumpy start, I would say, because the moon in Cancer energy gets into the boxing ring, squares off with Chiron, and then with Mercury. Again, Chiron being the wounded healer in this Aries energy, this is going to bring up all of the fears, all of the doubts, all of the insecurities, our hesitancy, our resistance to making the changes that we have to make in order to break free of the past, of our patterns, of our behaviors, of our routines, of our old narratives and actually align with moving forward. Again, that moon and cancer, very attached to what is tried, tested, and true, very attached to the past. And so this particular energy is kind of ruffling up our feathers, so to speak, in order for us to realize where it is that we're actually the problem. We're actually the block. We're the ones preventing ourselves from actually pivoting and moving forward in this new identity, in these new roles and responsibilities. Now, the square continues with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, retrograde in this Aries energy. So this is our heart and our head, obviously not on the same page. A lot of the reason for that is, again, the moon in Cancer, very attached to the old, very attached to what once was, very romanticizing and being a little bit too nostalgic about events and circumstances that popped off in the past that actually didn't happen the way that we're remembering them happening. But again, we're trying to convince ourselves that we are content, that we do need to hold on to the past, that we don't need to make these major changes, these major transformations all in the realm of avoiding that accountability, that responsibility. But here we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. Yeah, he is retrograde, so we are looking back, but we're only looking back in order to rewire the brain, rewrite the script, 
realize where it is that we're overly attached to something that is very false because again we're remembering the past in a way in which it didn't happen and so mercury retrograde is yes looking back to the past but in this aries energy kind of nipping it in the bud rewriting it if you will really pushing to initiate something new to really grasp a new narrative new perspective new understanding so obviously our heart is in one place, our head is in the other. This is a tension, this is a conflict. We're realizing how off kilter we actually are in our thoughts and in our emotions. And hopefully the struggle, the tension, the conflict should arrive with an aha moment, with an epiphany, with what it is that we have to do differently. So again, tough start. However, we're in recovery mode pretty quick because the moon in Cancer, goes ahead, sextiles first Jupiter, then Uranus. Both of them are in Taurus energy. Now, the moon sextiling Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, is going to flip the script very quickly, going to change our mood and our attitude, going to infuse us with optimism, with confidence, especially about what awaits us as far as future options and possibilities go. This is a glow up. This is a total change and transformation of the not so nice kind of semi pessimistic demeanor that we were in earlier in the day. And then the moon goes ahead and sextiles Uranus, the great awakener in this Taurus energy that opens us up, mind, body, and soul to adopting a different perspective, adopting a new method, a new behavior, just kind of seeing where it is that guess what? We're the problem. We are so stuck in a rut. We are so attached to what once was that we're not able to see what could actually be. Well, this is going to be the wake up, the shake up that we need. This is going to bring epiphanies and aha moments. This is going to definitely take us out of the perspective of looking back, plop us in this present moment, and then again, shift us to start thinking more about where it is that we want to go from here. 1124 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, retrograde in this Aries energy, coming up to bumping into teaming up with Chiron, the wounded healer, also in this Aries energy. So as we've been discussing, a conjunction is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. And this comes at a beautiful time because it is us essentially realizing where it is that that old ass perspective, narrative, understanding, way of doing things, identity, realm, reality has got to go. We're rewriting it. This is what Mercury retrograde and Aries energy is all about. We're examining the hold that the past has on us or the old identity or the old construct and structure of the realm and reality which that old identity has created we're realizing where that's not jamming or vibing with us anymore and again chiron helping us with this identity shift helping us to step into our power is definitely pushing for a new realization now this is it could be right in your face. You could be having an aha moment. You could have this intuitive push or pull, this intuitive understanding, this intuitive sense of knowing. You might not be able to make sense of it. There might not be proof or evidence to actually back up what it is that you think you know or what it is that you think you understand. However, the higher self is coming in and there's just this overwhelming feeling that we just know that something's in the works. We know we're moving forward. We know there's growth. We know there's healing. We know that there's a major change, a major transformation just around the corner. Now, do we have evidence and proof of that in our physical realm? Some of us might at this particular point in time, but we're still very much under the eclipse energy. So it would be bewildering to actually have the proof and the evidence right in your face at this particular moment in time. This is the vibes that we are now picking up on that is reassuring our inner realm that everything's going to be okay. This is like a gentle nudge to say, hey, it's okay to stop like fixating on the past. The present moment not might not feel so good, but there's this optimism, this confidence, this reassurance that everything's going to be okay. So 3.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the moon in Cancer energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with the sun in Aries energy. This is what gives us our first quarter moon in Cancer. And so Cancer energy, 
Again, very much about the home, very much about the family dynamic, but mostly about the emotional foundation that we're operating from. And again, coming out of Eclipse Portal with this new identity trying to emerge, we're trying to get comfortable and familiar with this new sense of self. This is the first action point. This is the first choice point, realization point, decision point that we have to make a change in order for us to feel safe and secure and stable to now move forward. Does it feel good? No. Does a square ever feel good? No, it does not. It applies tension. It applies pressure in order for growing pains to exist so that we can actually make the change, make the transformation. There is a new awareness coming into our mental plane on what it is that we have to do differently, what it is that we're now building towards, where it is that we have to do a little bit more work mind, body, and soul to get in alignment to actually move forward in a state of wholeness. Again, we have been very much divided. There's a push and pull kind of taking place. There is a pull back to the past. There's a push trying to get us to move forward. And what we're left with is this present moment where it does not feel good. However, the first quarter moon always allows us this little bit of a crisis point, this little bit of a cluster F, if you will, of energies. And then moving forward, we start to feel good about it. From here up until the full moon that we will be having in Scorpio energy, this is going to be a time to research, to explore what it is that we can do differently, how it is that we can feel better within ourselves, where it is that we can stabilize our energy, mind, body, and soul. So shortly thereafter, the moon in Cancer is going to trine beautiful interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy. We got some water on water action here. This is beautiful because first of all, it is cleansing us from the fragmented energies that we've been sitting in, very attached to the past because of this moon in Cancer. It is purifying our soul, our spirit, our intentions, our mind space, our heart space. And then it's infusing us with new ideas, new inspiration, kind of renewing our hopes, our wishes, our dreams for the future, putting us in a very sensitive state of picking up on the subtle energies in the cosmos and from our higher selves to understand, to remind ourselves of what it is that we're actually building towards. It is at this point, 7.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that the moon is going to go void, of course. When the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, things are very unstable. And so coming out of that beautiful trine, we start to feel good, and then suddenly it kind of drops off. We lock into that Leo energy at 10.25 p.m., 10.51 p.m., the last aspect of the day is the moon in this Leo energy making an interaction with Saturn. So Saturn is the Lord of Karma ruling over our roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, willpower, discipline. He's in Pisces energy trying to wrap up a 30 year cycle, trying to deconstruct the old systems and structures that of course are not doing society any favors at this particular point. And in our own lives, this is collapsing the old belief system, the old round, the old reality that again was not supporting us, encouraging us to move forward, to evolve. Instead, there's just like this element of stagnancy, delusion, if you will, that everything is good, everything is okay. And of course, that's what we tell ourselves when we're on the precipice of making a major change to try and avoid the accountability, the responsibility that we all have to create our own realities. So the moon kind of, you know, interacting with Saturn, there is a little bit of a reality check, but the reality check comes in the form of us realizing that we're ready to boss up. Again, that moon in Leo kind of infuses us with a boldness, a bravery, a courage that we've been lacking. Um, we are really standing very powerfully in our unique individualism. We understand what we have to do for ourselves. We understand how we have to kind of, you know, really push ourselves to start checking things off of our own to-do list as far as our mission or truth or purpose is concerned and Saturn is here to show us what it is that we want to build what it is that we want to create and where it is that we have to kind of boss up be ready for what we're about to kind of jump into in order to create a long-term foundation that we can build off of again being very in alignment with our higher selves really getting in touch with our soul's mission our soul's purpose 
and really just pushing the boundaries of our comfort zones, knowing that we have to do something different in order to get a different result.